Hello everyone, welcome to my latest vlog. This is on my time at the Dodonia Jazz Summer School, but it also covers a topic that's really, really dear to my heart, and that is improvisation. I'm going to uncover the beginnings of how people started improvising, how they feel about the improvising, but most importantly, what was their educational background in terms of improvising, i.e. did they learn it at school? I just wanted to say a special, special thank you to Terry, Duke, uh, Lawrence and Phil. It's because of those bad four that I was able to go on the course. So I present to you my vlog on the Dodonia Jazz Summer School slash covering improvisation. I didn't really work on the title. I should have worked on the title. Anyway, enjoy. Five minutes past five in the morning, me and Chris are just about to make our way uh, to Folkestone. I got coffee, I've had a bagel, I think I'm ready. Say hello Chris. Hello. I did my first year at Birmingham, so that was more straight ahead than when I went to Middlesex Uni to finish off my degree. It's a bit more varied. I to do and know you mean get to the desks. I always like going to the summer school because it's just a week of playing the music you love, playing with people who you enjoy, the company of. It's even more miserable on screen somehow. <laughs> amount of information trying to get, master the guitar is just mind-boggling. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the combinations of notes, the number of positions you can play notes on the fretboard. Limiting your options is probably the best thing yeah. because you're able to think less and just play more rather than get bogged down. My solo has been ruined because I've been thinking too much about what I can play or what I haven't played. So we're still on the road. We've uh, had double espresso, which oh, apparently in France means a normal Americano, which I like. If I ask for a double Americano, does that mean they're going to give me a quadruple espresso? They'll just look at you funny. <laughs> they normally do anyway. So, do you think if you learn, if you learn how to improvise at school, at school age, do you think you'd be more proficient now? Surely you can improvise at any age. So, with my son, when he first picked up the guitar. I could show him a pentatonic shape and he could play along to me doing a simple, you know, blues. We're at the service stop, that's Chris filling up. It's my turn to drive. We're about five hours away from Monster The weather hasn't got any better. What's going on? Um, we forecast sunshine. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, I, I tried I tried asking upstairs. It's like you weren't having any of it. It's like, come give us some sun. It's like, eh. Walk in the door, eh? Hey, walk in the door. I gotta get rain, you know. It's been hot, so I, I got to get rain. You need to get the rain here, come on. Three hours away, it's still time for the weather to improve. I tell you what, it's been a great road trip, Chris. I love it, I'm loving it. We, we've, we've chatted a lot about, yeah. you know, uh, pedagogical. That's, that's the, the word. word. What's, what's the pedagogical Pe word? Pe Pengling, that's the one. <laughs> We're having a conversation about um, learning styles, you know, preferred learning style. And learning, learning how to uh, drive around French roundabouts. I'm, I'm, I'm with, you know, right. like the first, the first mixed results, were, but you yeah, know. the first three were good, and then the rest <laughs> were a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's just where that car is pulling. Pulling. Hey, say hi. Hello. 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 Getting back into the swing of things, so to speak. <laughs> Start today with the Hemeto Pascal group. 
which is something that I'm looking forward to. I also haven't played double bass properly for a while, so I don't know if you can see it. I got a blister on my finger. So what I've done is I've printed out uh, eight, eight four bits of paper. I tend to stick them up there so that you know what room you have to go to because he's in the dojo and he never changes. And that's a very big issue because if some of the people have like, equipment like uh, planners or something, they like, like to leave them there or dump it. First group, dojo with John Bratoff. You ready, Bernie? You ready for it? Come on, buddy. This is Bernie. This is me. Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. I'm with him today. I'm with him. Hi. Good idea. Yeah, like so we do a little one six two five. Yeah. To get in. One eight. Uh... <laughs> Say hi, Terry. A, B, alternative line, then B, and then we can do solos. Necessarily teach you all you need to, to actually be a, a, an improvising musician. Ultimately, you know, for me, from, from an improvisation point of view, it's all about having an extensive vocabulary. Because if you haven't got that, then your ideas are going to be limited, and you're always playing the same things. So you just improvise where you put the phrases. So you've got a, yes. almost like a catalogue of, okay, I've got phrase number 14, and I'm going to stick this in wherever I feel is needed in the Yeah, but, but of course you, you just don't, you don't necessarily think about it. It's just there. You, you play these things until you internalize them. If you're playing straight ahead jazz, you know, that kind of vocabulary isn't going to work if you're playing sort of Brazilian and, and Latin music. Yeah. It's got its own language, so it's really getting inside the language of each of these uh, genres and types of music that, that actually helps. As jazz drummers in particular, you know, where we are constantly improvising, 
uh, from the start of the piece to the end because nothing's kind of written in stone. Would it have benefited you at school if your teacher would have taught you improvise? If they, if you would have been taught the tools that you know now as an improviser? My secondary school um, music education and my primary school music education was severely lacking. Um, like like it was for, for a, a lot of kids, uh, you know, that I grew up, grew up with. You come out of the school system really not equipped to deal with the, the more involved sort of music forms. If you um, have some uh, improvising skills, that's going to equip you and prepare you for, for, for many situations. You know, just being able to think on your feet and react to what you're hearing. Do you reckon you would have been ready for it? I think I've got to handle it. I mean, um, I, I, I see children um, all the time where I live in The Hague, but they're involved in music programs of that age and younger who are actively improvising. That starts early enough. And, you know, these kids end up being monster musicians. Um, it, it really prepares them for, for that kind of world. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. first part of the blog and um, wasn't it a hoot? So for the next part of the vlog there is a link in the description. You're more than welcome to click on that or you can go and look at videos of cats online. Actually that's not really a bad idea is it? Anyway I hope to see you on the next part.